Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome back. It is 525. If you're just joining us this morning, welcome on in. Let's get a check of the weather here so you can plan the day accordingly. Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier, what do you have for us? Well, you know, Alex, we are looking at some pretty quiet conditions out there right now across Lafayette and everywhere around Acadiana, but that will be changing once again as we head into the afternoon. Now there's a lot of humidity out there. You can see that across downtown, but we're also looking at clear conditions to start the day off. Those clouds will begin to build on in here through the next few hours. 79 degrees right now in the hub city going forward. Oh, we'll see those temperatures. They're going to hold where they are, maybe drop a degree or two, but we're not going to see much movement. Once we get to around 8 o'clock, though, we'll start climbing into the 80s with that sunlight. We've had a few showers down around the coast here into St. Mary Parish. Not much left to those. They're crossing the uh, Chafalaya Delta right now. The rest of Acadiana remains pretty quiet and rain free, but Futurecast says that's not likely to stay the case. Now this is 10 o'clock and we just see a lot of clouds out there. No rain to track quite yet. However, we get into the afternoon and here we go again. Remember yesterday around 2 o'clock we had those big storms that rolled on through. We could see that again coming in from the north. Look at these slow moving heavy downpours. Another day of watching for possible heavy rain potential leading to some street flooding. Also some gusty winds with these storms and can't rule out those tropical funnel clouds. Those have been popping up down around the coast each and every day too. Most of this rain should end by 8, 9 o'clock, though an isolated storm could continue into the overnight hours. Still though, rain chance is much lower there. We rebuild the whole scene on your Wednesday, but some changes are coming our way. High pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere starts to build on in, and while there will still be a rain chance on your Wednesday, it's a lot lower than today. In fact, look, this is 3 o'clock, and there's not a whole lot being picked up by Futurecast, really. This model says, uh-uh, no rain tomorrow, which means the heat will definitely be on. So for this evening, after reaching those highs in the 90s today, we're going to start climbing and uh, climbing into the mid 90s, but then settling into the 80s here by 7 o'clock. We'll drop into the 70s, going into the overnight hours. Again, an isolated storm chance. And then tomorrow, we are looking at a daytime high approaching the upper 90s. Now, there's going to be a few storms around to provide some heat relief, but not many. So we will likely get into those upper 90s and stay there through the next seven days. In fact, there's no cooler air. Today's kind of the coolest day that we see going forward. Our average high is 91. We'll be approaching those upper 90s Friday, Saturday, even Sunday and Monday. We could see heat advisories issued for the area. So yeah, today the last good rain chance we have for quite some time. As we end the week, we lose those rain chances. Approaching those upper 90s, of course, also those overnight lows come up a little bit. Maybe a few more storms Sunday and Monday of next week, but even that not looking too impressive at the current time. So be prepared for those storms today. Again, that flood threat very low, but still there. Gusty winds, tropical funnel clouds. After this, we see sunshine and heat, Alex. Okay, Adam, we'll listen. Another warning from you again. So we thank you for that. We'll be uh, checking in throughout the morning. Thanks. Coming up 